This is just going to be a quick video talking about graphics in Run8, and I'm just going to show you what I do, and hopefully that can help you uh, with your setup. So if we go up to the top here under graphics, you can see every, all the options that I've got checked off. And then under shadows, I've got everything checked and maxed out on the sliders. Um, reflections are high. Anti-aliasing, I found that the FXAA looks the best and let me just show you an example okay now i've got it on the sm graphics anti-aliasing smaa times one and i'm in a gvo here and you can see i i don't know if this is going to come through but we'll try it but if you look down here the box all, all these white lines on the screen are kind of like zigzaggy looking now if i zoom way in they look ultra crisp everything looks perfect but if I zoom out all the way, or zoom in just a little bit, with the train, as the train moves, like right there, you could see like those white lines. Oh, look at the cab shaking here. If I go up to graphics, switch this to FXAA, it greatly reduces that. I, don't, I hope you can, that comes through. Then if we go up here under graphics and FPS controls, this is what I've found works the best for me. I like to have it, the slider capped at 60 FPS and I've got my monitor set at 60 FPS or 60 Hertz in my NVIDIA control panel. And then presenter mode here, I have it set at one. And that, that will generate frames I forgot the exact explanation, but it basically generates the new frame when the, the I think when the renderer is ready, when DirectX or however that works is ready. But I don't have, I don't use V-Sync at all or G-Sync. And when you have it on locked at 60 FPS and the computer's pumping out uh, easily maintaining 60, so there's never like a dip. And then I have presenter mode on one. Uh, it just plays perfectly smooth. In windowed, I'm using windowed borderless. Whenever I try a true full screen, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes I get stutters, or it doesn't record smooth. It's just always a problem. But windowed borderless and 60 FPS presenter mode one seems to work the best. Then under performance, I just have everything maxed out here, all the sliders. And I think that's it for in-game settings. So now I'm inside of my NVIDIA control panel, and if I go to change resolution, you'll see I've got it, the refresh rate at 60 hertz, because I find that Run 8 works the best just with things simple, like the refresh rate of the monitors at 60, the FPS in Run 8's capped at 60, everything just sync, seems to sync up really well. Then if you go up here to manage 3D settings, and then under program settings, I recommend if it's not in there, add run eight to this list. So you would just click on add and you'd find it. You can browse and find the exe file on your hard drive. And the only thing that I really do in here is just power management mode. I put to prefer maximum performance. I don't know if I even notice a difference if I did put it back to just default, but I just do it for the heck of it. But otherwise, you'll see a V-Sync's off here, and it's turned off in, uh, in Run 8 as well. I don't even need it. And I don't get any kind of screen tearing, because you, with one checked, it's not cranking out more frames than the monitor can handle. It syncs it up. Now, inside the NVIDIA app, under System here, you'll see right here, G-Sync and surround, uh, G-Sync not available. And that's because I disabled it on my monitor. I'm actually playing on a TV that has G-Sync. But the weird thing uh, I found was it would look fine. If it's on, it would play fine. So you don't necessarily, you can mess around with these settings and see what looks best for you. But I found that having G-Sync enabled on the monitor, even if I like turned it off within NVIDIA here, if it was enabled in the monitor settings, 
I was, that's when I was getting the weird recording stutters where it would look fine on my screen. But then when I do the, the editing, my videos, all of a sudden, like, it seemed like once per video for like five seconds, you get these crazy stutters. And I was like, that made no sense. And I found that that was the reason when I turned off, I tried everything. And then when I finally, when I turned G-Sync off on the monitor itself and disabled it, then that went away. Now, if you want to try, see how it says windowed borderless full screen up there at the top? If you wanted to try true full screen and just see how it works for you, then all you got to do is hold shift and then hit F4. And then the screen will flicker. It might take a second. And then it'll say at the top left, rendering using true full screen. And then if you want to go back to windowed borderless, hit the F4 key and then it'll take a second and then it'll show up as windowed borderless. All right, I'm in my run eight base folder for V3. And if I go to user guide and then look for configuring options V3, you get this PDF from the developers of run eight with some great information and tips for configuring your graphics settings. So down on page seven, you can see that this is all about the graphics and you get great explanations for all the different options and what they do. And then at the bottom half of the screen, it talks about using true full screen and hit how to do it with left shift F4, F4 to toggle between small window and borderless full screen. And it actually says in here that true full screen will likely render much more smoothly than Run 8's traditional full screen borderless window mode. But for me, I've only, I've had the best success with windowed borderless. Every time I've tried full true full screen, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it looks okay, and then other times I'll get stutters and, and just have problems. So I just stick with windowed borderless. The next page talks about shadows, and this is a big one. If you've got a machine that's maybe struggling to maintain your FPS while playing, you can move the sliders to the left to reduce the shadow quality and the distance that, that they're shown and uh, samples. Uh, it explains here what these do, and then that will help pick up some FPS for you. And then if you uncheck uh, sh enable shadows at the top, it'll just completely turn off shadows for everything. And then you'll get way better FPS. The game won't look as good while you're playing because you're not going to have any shadows on anything. But if you don't really care, or if you just want that smoother, higher FPS gameplay, try un uh, unchecking and disabling all shadows. And then the next page, he just talks a little bit about reflections, anti-aliasing, uh, makes note that V-Sync needs to be in full screen. It doesn't work in borderless, but I, I don't even need it because with, like I was saying in, earlier in the video, with presenter mode in one and the FPS at 60, I don't get any kind of tearing. It just plays perfect. So I don't even I don't even use V-Sync. And then on this, uh, I think this is page nine, we, it talks about performance. And this is another one here. It'll explain all these sliders, what they mean. And you can move them to the left to increase your FPS. Again, if you're on a, a less powerful machine, you can pick up some frames by adjusting these sliders as well. So don't be afraid to mess around with changing those sliders and trying out different settings to see what works best for your computer and for your monitor and gives you a little bit smoother gameplay. So thanks for watching and I hope some of these tips help you out.